Hello and welcome back. I have to start by apologizing for my voice. I'm in the middle of a bad cold, but I didn't want to wait to get this video out, so hopefully you can understand me. In my last video, I showed you how the DIY Packraft kit pieces fit together using a paper model. And in this video, I'm going to open up a DIY Packraft kit and show you the actual components. In the next video, I'll start putting it together. There's a link in the video notes to a blank Packraft outline that you can print out to experiment with different color schemes yourself. The Packraft that I'll be making in this video series has a Mondrian color scheme like this. Let's see what's in the kit. There are 12 pre-cut pieces of 210 denier fabric in this kit, 10 multicolored pieces for the tubes, and 2 for the floor, which will be black on the outside and red on the inside. There are also some other pieces of fabric, some black 210 denier for making the seams and tie-downs, some lightweight 40 denier fabric for making a seat, which is not included in the kit, but you can add it to your order, and some scraps of the various colors for making repairs. A Boston valve is included in the kit, and you can add a top-up valve if you want, and a small valve for your seat. I've also added an airtight zipper to this kit, which I will install in the hull so I can store gear inside the tubes. This is the top of the line T-Zip Super Seal airtight zipper, which is pretty awesome. It's made in Germany and it's rated to 700 millibars or 10 psi, and it's what Packraft manufacturers use in their boats. It's also used in dry suits and survival suits and things like that. Um, you may be able to find a different airtight zipper somewhere, but I think that for components like this that your life could depend on, it makes sense to choose the best available option. So that's what I've done. Anyway, um, each pre-cut piece of fabric in the DIY Packraft kit is labeled with a sticker that indicates where that piece fits. It's labeled either left or right, and it has a number from 1 to 5, and an arrow pointing towards the front of the pack rack. Stickers on the floor pieces just point towards the front. Now that we know what's in the kit, let's lay out the pieces to get a sense of what it's going to look like. Each tube section fits between two dots that are marked on the floor and these dots are three centimeters in from the edges of the floor piece. The numbering scheme works like this. Starting at the front and working back, the pieces are numbered one to five, left and right, and if you imagine each piece as being sort of fish-shaped or chicken drumstick-shaped, the head of the fish will bite onto the floor of the pack rack and then the tail of the fish will bend up and around to touch the head. Even if all of your stickers come off somehow, don't worry, you can easily figure out what goes where by looking at the instructions on the website. The shinier side of the fabric is the heat sealable TPU side, and the kits are designed so that the TPU is on the outside of the tubes, and the upper side of the first floor piece. You don't actually have to lay everything out like this before you get started, but it's kind of fun to do, and it will give you a sense of what the various pieces look like and how they fit together. If you've chosen to add a second floor piece, as I have here, it will go on top of the first piece with its TPU side down. I hope you found this video useful, and if so, please hit the like button or share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.